Get that fish into the boat. Uh oh. Uh oh. Just got eaten. Yeah, it did. <laughs> Just got eaten. You better reel. Oh, a cobia. <laughs> nice. Hey, 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 hey. Let, let's him drag out. Let's him drag out. I think he's ready for me to yet. Oh, come on, Brian. You afraid <laughs> of a little cobia? Hang on, let me open that. Good oh, job. You're going to knock me into the water. That's okay, you can swim, right? I can. He's going to be close. Good job, Brian. Yeah. But I don't Jesus, know if that was I what you it. had on at first. I don't think that's what I had on. I don't think it was either. We, we could have sworn it was a shark. Holy netting skills. <laughs> there you go. Good job, girl. Whoop, whoop. I'll be here all day. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. This could be our first keeper gag in the, in the boat. I'm pretty sure it is. Yes. He's got to go back. He's too small. Oh, he's too small. I don't know. I mean, he's got to be 33. To the fork. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah, he's too small. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, man. Man or man. <laughs> He's just getting warmed up. Oh. How does it come off? <laughs> well, we all know why it came off. That one. Man, man. Come on. Uh, red group. No, big old snapper. Good Ooh, God. Heck yeah, man. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Oh, Sabrina. I know. Please don't tell me you suck as bad as your husband. No. <laughs> no, I don't. No it, reason to go offshore. No, no reason for me to go anywhere. I mean. Well, that's true too. So, so okay, here. this is getting a little ridiculous. Listen. <laughs> She's dropping snapper in the water. Brian can't catch nothing. Nanner man. He's now pitching in my spot. I, know, I touched the bait and threw it in your spot. That spot's ruined now. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. Stuck my hand in the shrimp bucket. Cause I get him, girl. You better get on him. He's going. He's running right towards you. That's a good fish. There you go. I just feel bad for him because when I rewatched the footage, what, what is that? No, is it another cobia? Yeah. Oh my god. You know how long it's been since I've caught a cobia? Now she's got two in the boat. <laughs> Unbelievable. Hey, both too small, but hey, it's still better than what your husband's doing. Oh, I was right, George. 
towards you. It's I Brian. I can't catch him with a net, neither. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, something's following it, too. Look, down there. Is there? Oh, no, that's a big oh, yeah. Hey, look at that. If I haven't already said it, which I don't think I did, because I haven't really introduced her, but this is Sabrina. That's Nannerman's wife. Better half. Way better half. <laughs> at least she can fish. <laughs> We're going to have to keep Nannerman at home. Doing a good job well. Not, <laughs> no, not, I, I, don't say he's doing a good job net net fish. He missed it. He missed both those clovia like five times. I everything. <laughs> well I kind of hooked him in his face. So. Well that's where you're supposed to hook him. Well I put a hole in his face. His face. 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 Supposed to hook him in the face. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to let the cameras run and do all the bloopers with Brian. <laughs> I told you to get a better fish. Just got to be patient. What we're doing is we're using cut bait. Blooper. And, um... We're getting a lot of small fish, but at the same time, I told Sabrina, I said, we need to work through this because there's bigger fish down there, and that's a little bit of an upgrade. We'll see what happens. You're welcome. <laughs> I have now. I gave you really, Todd? <laughs> I gave you my spot. Oh, my God. <laughs> Just let me be off camera. At least I'll catch a fish. <laughs> you just need to put the banana suit back on you. That was a good one. <sighs> Let me get out of the camera so I'm not the one in the action shot. Nice snapper. Oh yeah, look at that one, boys and girls. Woo! I lied when I said we wouldn't catch one as big as mine. Did you get him on cut bait or shrimp? Cut bait or shrimp? Cut bait. Nice. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah, don't get that lip. That's acting like a phobia. Definitely acting like a No, that's acting more like a group. You got us, Sabrina? Yeah. Trigger. No. What? Oh my god. You got to be shitting me. Wow. Big trigger for a year. Holy crap, I would have never thought. That's nuts, dude. I would have never thought in a million years we'd catch one this up, up in this area. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, folks. What we're doing is we're actually fishing some hard bottom next to a ledge out in the shipping channel. We're about a mile, mile and a half from from shore, and we're catching everything. We're catching trigger fish. We're catching which was amazing to me. Trigger fish, gag grouper, I think we've got a red grouper, we've caught mangrove snapper, grunts, cobia. So we've caught all a bunch of different stuff. Right now the tide is starting to pick up just a little bit. We might run off a little bit offshore and see if we can't get into some fish out there, but this spot has been relatively pretty productive. And this whole shipping channel has a lot of different ledges, hard bottoms and things like that. So taking the time to go out and understand as you see 
on this with this hard bottom it looks it has a, a thinner layer but it also has red uh, red yellow and oranges in it so it's indicating it's showing a very hard bottom when it's just a pure red on the Lawrence that's showing me and then there's when there's a lot of echo underneath it's showing me that it's soft bottom so having a better understanding of your electronics and I and I say this all the time I talk about it all the time how important it is you if you don't understand what you're looking for it makes it that much more difficult to go out and find new areas and find productive areas so always take some time to understand what you're looking at when it comes to your electronics now when we were fishing closer to shore I was using uh oh I was using a uh, we were using a lot of cut bait and so I was using our bucket bait cutter to be able to cut up a bunch of bait at one time we were offshore the other day and the guy was cutting one one bait at a time and that takes a lot of time but when you use the bucket bait cutter it actually gets your bait cut very quickly and you have a lot of cut bait to use started shaking there for a second I thought it might be a hog. Yeah. It's gonna be her fourth porgy. <laughs> porgy. Oh! <laughs> Another one to the GoPro. <laughs> I'm like, uh oh, I'm in trouble. So maybe your hunch was correct. Yes, ma'am, sure was. <laughs> <laughs> 